Hi, my name is Ahirin and I'm from New Straits Times. Today, I have the Tri-M Bobber and also the Moto Guzzi V9 Bobber. The Moto Guzzi Bobber was introduced in 2016 and is part of Moto Guzzi's bold new lineup leading the resurgence of the traditional Italian manufacturer. At the heart of the Bobber is a 850cc transverse V-twin which produces 55 horsepower and 62 newton meters of torque. What's wonderful about the Guzzi is how much character the V-twin has. When you start it, it rests and it has oodles of torque. The engine is connected to a revised 6-speed gearbox. The suspension is new but uses traditional long travel 130mm with a new pair of spring preload adjustable shock absorbers. Brakes consist of a Brembo Oppose 4 piston calipers biting on a 320mm steel disc. On the rear, a pump with integrated tank engages a 260mm disc and a 2 piston floating caliper. It has a relatively tall seat with good ergonomics, comfortable arm positioning, and also a good neutral seating posture. The V9 Bobber comes with 16 inch alloys shot with Continental Milestone Fat Tires. The balloon tires give the bobber its unique look. The V9 bobber is priced at 75,000 ringgit, approximately the same as a Triumph bobber. Now the Triumph bobber is a cafe racer design which focuses on minimal styling. It carries 1,200cc liquid-cooled parallel twin engine and it produces 76 horsepower with a max torque of 106 newton meter. It has a new Showa 47 mm Fox with 90 mm travel and a rear suspension of KYB Monoshock with 77 mm travel. The bobber also has its trademark of classic twin throttle bodies that looks exactly like a carburetor. The sitting position is also comfortable for short distances, but certainly not suitable for long rides. The crouching light position gives you a sore back. There's a wild card between these two bobbers, and it is a Moto Guzzi V9 Roma. While it's not a bobber, the V9 Roma shares the same 850cc small block as the V9 bobber. Ergonomics on the Roma are excellent, with the big front wheel absorbing potholes and ruts, and the vintage style pullback bars, this bike can take you very far in comfort. Fit and finish on the Roma is excellent, just like on the Boba. Almost everything is metal or rubber, and it's very very hard to find even a bit of plastic on either one. The Roma is priced at 73,900 ringgit. So that's basically it for this review of two bobbers and a Roma. Now, which one would you go for?